Hey everyone, about four months ago I posted a video about a Nerika Prime that was received damaged. The bike was ordered and it took a few months to get here because it was shipping from China and they just sent a replacement. I'm not sure exactly when they shipped it, but it took about four months to get here uh, from the time that they said they were shipping it. Overall, the, this box does not look anywhere near as damaged. There is a crumple over here on this side and then there is a puncture on the back side of this box. It looks like Narika is trying to do as much as they possibly can. You can see that they reinforced where they're strapping this. They're strapping it in three places here, and then they strap it around it. You can't see that, but they strap it around it as well. And they have fragile stickers on all four sides of this. So they definitely still get abused in shipping, which is unfortunate because... I mean, I don't know what else they can really do, to be honest. If you're interested in ordering one of these, be prepared to wait a little while because these are coming from China, so it does take a few months to receive it. So we haven't opened this yet, so let's open it up and see what's inside and see if any of it's damaged. All right, so as you can see, everything appears zip tied, so that's good. Um, you can see uh, down in here the crank did push against the cardboard. You can see it got beat up a little bit, but they put a second uh, piece of cardboard in here to protect it. So there's almost no deformation on the actual outside of this. And then the, the upper uh, piece of cardboard actually sleeved over this too. So there's like three layers of cardboard between the crank and uh, the outside of the box. So that's good. They did the same thing over on this side. So... It doesn't look like anything is out of place necessarily. Um, they use a lot of foam in here. Uh, these are different from the old one actually. Uh, these are adjustable. On the old one, you can see that these are this. Uh, they're not adjustable at all. So I don't know if they made that an upgrade that was standard or what, but let's, uh, let's get in here and open some of this stuff up. That was already broke. Knives and tires. So what is this? Oh, it's like seat. Okay. All right, what do we got here? Some it's like fenders. Okay. foam out of the way. So this must be our front tire. So I like that they, they did this. They covered this up. And it's actually connected on both sides. It runs all the way through the axle of this. So that's kind of kind of cool for protection. I don't see anything I don't see anything wrong necessarily with this tire. Okay, so we got some more cardboard down here. We'll get that out of the way. Get this cardboard out of the way. All right, I'm getting down to the frame here. And double foam with cardboard too, so that's that's nice. They put that on there for a little extra protection. And all this loose. Looks like this is all, I think this is all one piece of foam. So that's kind of cool. Rather than have it break up to where stuff can fold over and everything, it's all one big piece of foam to protect the frame. It's really a shame that FedEx is so abusive to these boxes and all of these shipments and everything. I mean, I'm sure, I understand that it's coming from China, but... Yeah, they don't, they don't try very hard to take care of stuff. <laughs> Didn't stay where they put it, but they put double-sided tape on here to try and keep it in this corner. But it moved. Doesn't look like it's damaged or anything, though. Alright, let's get this thing up and out of here. You know what? This 
This thing is surprisingly light, considering, as I grunt, <laughs> considering how, uh, how heavy the motor is. All right, let's get the rest of this foam off of here and I'll bring you guys in to check this thing out. So this is interesting, they put, I, I didn't unbox the original one, but they put a piece of wood in here uh, across the front axle, I guess you'd call it, back here onto the frame. And they put foam, they have it zip tied right here. Um, and I'm guessing that's to try and prevent exactly what happened to that first one, where these forks were, were getting beat up. And uh, this tube here, your head tube, um, ended up, it just got, it got beat up really, really bad. I mean, it was completely unusable. Um, I don't see anything super obvious on this one that's wrong. It all, it all feels, so uh, it all feels solid on this one, so that's good. All right, let's get the rest of this foam off. This small box that was in the corner has the pedals, the keys, and some other little pieces of hardware. And it also has this Allen wrench, which is used to put these on. So I put the handlebars on, and then this piece of wood that's going through the, the front axle here, um, they don't give you the Allen wrench for this that I can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and find one that I have. So the Allen head on this is a six millimeter Allen head. I'm gonna go ahead and get this piece of wood out of here and put the front tire on. This piece of wood is extremely tight on here. It's a very, very difficult process to get this off of here. Um, I'm guessing they needed it to be this tight to prevent any play. All right, so I got that off. The brake calipers do come with a little piece of plastic in here that you will need to remove before you can put the wheel on. I just pulled this off the brake rotor. Don't stick your fingers in there, no matter how tempting. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this put together. Um, the only things left to do really are put the seat on, put the pedals on, and then put the battery in. And uh... The pedals are directional. So if you look, you can see the one on the left has notches on the nut right here, and the threads are different. So these are left-hand threads and these are standard right-hand threads. I'm sure that's standard on every bicycle. So there's no wrench for these pedals. Looks like a 15 millimeter wrench fits on here nice and tight. All right, everyone, that's pretty much it. Um, it's all ready to go. It did not come with the computer screen or the screen for it because we had it on the original. So they left all the electronics from this one. It's gonna get transferred over. Um, and there is no battery with it. The battery compartment ugh, is under here. So it slides up in there and locks in. You can see the pins down there at the bottom. So it fits in here. And then there is a, a lock up here. You can see that metal pin. Yeah, so you can see that metal pin. There's a key to unlock it too. So that key was in this bag with the other stuff here. As you can see, there are a lot of zip ties that go on this thing. And there's lots and lots of foam to try and keep this thing well protected. Uh, Narika's really, you can tell that they're trying to um, keep these things protected during shipment. And I did confirm that that was not on the original bike. So that's something they added, I'm sure, to prevent the same thing from happening. Um, you can see they put thread locker in here on these bolts and stuff. I mean, overall, I'm, I'm really impressed with the quality of this bike. It's just unfortunate that things played out the way they did on the original bike. It appears that the replacement arrived safe and sound and they made some improvements, which is always good to see companies doing. When they find issues, uh, they try to fix them and those are the kinds of companies that you hope to stay in business. It's nice to see that they came up with a solution to a problem on the fly the way they did. Uh, that piece of wood was very solid and obviously it did not allow anything to move. Um, unfortunately, even though they put fragile on the box all over the place and strap it and they put zip ties everywhere and put foam everywhere and on the box they even had in the upper right hand corner if you noticed uh, they had arrows saying like you know this way upright and everything FedEx still flips it there's no way that the the end of that got crumpled without them flipping that up on end I'm sure that thing got tossed onto its side and shipped on a boat all the way to America 
on its end and that's how it got crumpled. Uh, that's the only way I can think of for the original bike to be so damaged and it's really a shame. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, it sucks. Overall the replacement process was pretty smooth but it did take a while. So that would probably be the only downside to all of this is that it takes quite a long time for them to get things in your hands from the time you order it or the time something uh, is shipped out. I'm going to include some footage of me riding the bike, uh, but it's only a couple of minutes because I plan on doing a full review in the future once the weather breaks. The bike definitely moves. 30 miles an hour is pretty easy and it gets there in a hurry. A lot of fun to ride and the fat tires on it and everything really make it stable. It's surprisingly comfortable to ride even though there's no suspension in the back. Um, it handles bumps and everything very well, but yeah, more on that in the future. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Hey everyone, a few we <laughs> Alright everyone, that's gonna Overall, Narika does seem very receptive to making improvements and replacing things. Overall, Narika does seem very receptive to making improvements, and it's nice to see that they honored the Overall the replacement process went pretty smooth. It is And the upgrade is a thousand watts, and it makes a gosh. It's nice to see that they. All right, everyone, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to do. All right, everyone, that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to do an update on the. Uh... All right, everyone, that's going to be it for this video. I wanted to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs>